When I was four years old, I started kendo. The most important thing to me kendo has to offer is connecting with people. The first time I participated in the World Championship was in the year 2000. At that time, there was a tournament where uh, it was a semifinals when we fought Japan. So that, that's a big, good memory within my kendo career. I started trying to go for the 2006 and then try to go for 2009, 2012, and I'm trying to make it on for this year. So I guess this will be my fourth time trying to go for Team Canada. It's not just about uh, being active physically, there are lots of uh, mental challenges as well too. This is the second time trying out. One thing Kendo has taught me is that you can do anything that you put your mind to. Your body might say no, but as long as your heart is saying yes, then you can do it. So I really want to show that and show everyone what I've been doing. In my kendo career, only because so many other people helped me. At this point in my life, it's, it's a chance for me to actually give back. Now we're struggling because the style of kendo has changed. We still have a very traditional. Our level, our, our skill level is still very high. They can make those small adjustments that are needed. My hopes for this team is to be able to execute everyone's skill to the fullest on the day of the tournament. I think the most enjoyable part in this whole process is uh, just practicing with other people who practice kendo uh, across Canada and uh, training with them. When we practice together every day, we have to remember that we're doing our best and we're really traveling towards the same goal. Just have fun. <laughs>